All right, everybody. Uh, it's David Kramer, the Critical Thinking Christian, and I have uh, this video. I'm going to discuss briefly discuss two different uh, biblical passages that uh, where there's uh, uh, that don't make that don't make sense, where there's uh, inconsistencies. Okay. Now the first one is comes from Deuteronomy 14 verses 6 and 7, and this is King James version. And every beast that parteth the hoof, and cleaveth the cleft into two claws, and cheweth the cud among the beasts, that ye shall eat. Nevertheless, these ye shall not eat of them that chew the cud, or of them that divide the cloven hoof, as the camel, and the hare, and the coney. Now, the hare and the coney are the same thing. That Both of them are, are rabbits. Okay, for they chew the cud, but divide not the hoof, therefore they are unclean unto you. All right, now the camel chews the cud. Um, when an animal chews the cud, they have, I think they have two stomachs, if I'm correct. I, I don't have any, I didn't look this up, but this is from, you know, being around farmers and stuff like that. They have two stomachs, and, you know... Maybe I better look this up. I, I don't. I don't want to come out here and uh, actually. Some have more than two stomachs. Okay. Let's just put in chewing. Chewing cud. Ah, okay. There's a stomach called the ruminant, the 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 ruminant, the ruminant stomach. That's R U M I N A N T S. Okay, ruminant. Okay, so this food is a uh, semi-degraded food that is regurgitated, and then the animal, like a cow chews it again and then it, that's when after they chew it the second time if I'm correct it goes down uh, let's look at Wikipedia okay and that cattle giraffes goat sheep alpacas and antelope they're unable to produce enzymes required to break down the cellulose and hemicellulose of plant matter. Okay? And, you know, that way they then they have to bring it up again and they have to re-chew it and then swallow it. Okay? So that, that's, what, that's what cut is. Now, the rabbit, however, don't. What does a rabbit do? Okay? Rabbits are foraging herbivores, eating mostly grass and weeds, but this fibrous cellulose-rich diet isn't the easiest to digest, and by the time their dinner has made, it, has made it through their intestines, it still contains many of the nutrients the bunnies need. Rabbits and hares beat this problem with a special kind of digestion called hindgut fermentation. In short, they eat their own feces and digest it a second time. Bunnies actually make two different kinds of droppings, little black, little black round ones and softer black ones known as cecotropes that are eaten. This process is known as, I think that's coprophagy. Coprophagy? C-O-P-R-O-P-H-A-G-Y. Coprophagy. And functions the same as cows chewing their cud. Okay, it's very important for the rabbit's digestive system to keep moving fluidly as they need to re-ingest their cecotropes in order to get the nutrients they need. If anything gets stuck in a bunny's esophagus or intestines, they're out of luck since they are incapable of vomiting. Hmm. That sucks. So, rabbits do not chew their cud, okay? They eat their feces. 
So when the Bible tells you that rabbits chew their cud, it's, it's a bunch of crap. Now, I, I think the God that created these rabbits, you know, could have maybe done a better job uh, because he knew they were going to eat plants, grass. So couldn't he design a better system where it digests? I mean, look at humans. We are omnivores. We can eat meat and we can eat plants. We can eat nuts and, and, and other stuff. And our digestive system, now some people have trouble, but the majority of us can digest our food. And, you know, even raw. So, God couldn't do a better job with the animals. And God breathed, this is supposed to be, this word of God is supposed to be God breathed. And they say, well, this is Bronze Age people just, you know, making this up. Well, even if it is, here, here's the thing. If I am out there and I see a rabbit and that rabbit takes a dump and turns around and eats it okay I, I, I'm not going to really know what's going on okay maybe I saw my dog eat his poop because sometimes they eat their poop I never go well that dog's chewing his cud okay so I, I don't Unless the guy who wrote this, and they claim Moses wrote this, studied animals, you know, but even if he did, he had no idea what eating your own feces and chewing the cud is. Because there's two, they're two different things. It may function the same, but it's two different things. So, there the Bible got that wrong. And I think I did say this, the hare, which is a rabbit, and the coney are the same thing. I used to think the coney was a badger, because I heard that years ago. Or maybe I heard it wrong. But they used to call them the coney. All right. Rabbits don't chew their cud. They eat their feces. Okay, the next one. Now, the Bible especially in Genesis, and there are other parts too. I think in Ezekiel it calls the earth a disk, if I'm correct. But there's evidence that the Bible uh, is talks about a flat earth. And here is a strange passage. Matthew 4, verses 8. This was when the, uh, Jesus went out into the wilderness and he was doing his 40 days of uh, fasting and all that and the devil came to him and started tempting him and in Matthew 4 8 it says again the devil taketh him up into an ex exceeding high mountain and sheweth him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them now the only exceeding high mountain that I know of in the world right it would be Mount Everest. That's an exceeding high mountain. Uh, I, 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 I'm not going to look up about uh, uh, any in the area there around uh, Jerusalem and that, but even if the devil took him up to the top of Mount Everest, you can't see all the kingdoms of the world, okay, because we live on a globe. And I think they say it's a little, uh, like, kind of fatter in the middle. <laughs> it has a spare tire. I don't know. I, I'm, it's, I, I heard that, too. But anyway, so, you know, the, the only people who will say, yeah, oh, yeah, he can do that. You know, he can show them the, you know, the, you know are the, the kingdoms of the world are the flat earthers. But here's a problem with that. When you go up to Mount Everest, you're above the clouds. So there's going to be cloud cover that is going to inhibit your what you can see. So, 
you know, so that there, unless, you know, the devils, you know, blew them away or whatever, because, you know. But here it seems there's evidence that the Bible is talking about a flat earth, because then you can go all the way up to this high mountain, and you can see all these kingdoms. But even if you, even, the thing is, though, depending how vast the earth is, you're not going to be even, you're not going to, you know, be able to see them unless there's some supernatural thing going here. But he, if there's a supernatural thing going here where the devil can show him these kingdoms, why do they got to go up to a high mount? So, I don't know. I actually think there is a bunch of crap. So, I just wanted to make this video and talk about these two what I consider inconsistencies and uh, bullshit out of the Bible. And, uh, you know, I'm going to come back and make more. I'm kind of tired. You know, weightlifting and grinding in a foundry makes your brain kind of uh, not work right. So I'm going to cut this video short and, uh, you know, let me know what you think. And until next time, I'm David Kramer, the Critical Thinking Christian.